Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to upload your videos to YouTube faster. I'm already going to say in advance, sorry for the squeak in the background, I really don't know what that is because I have a gaming mic, but let's go carry on with the tutorial. Anyways, to upload YouTube videos faster, what you want to do is get this program called Handbrake. What Handbrake does is it compresses stuff. Now, here is um something that I rendered was something for my Halo video, and I made this on after Adobe After Effects. Now, if we look at the properties, it is 1.2 gigabytes. I compressed it here um, to the recommended quality that it wanted me to compress it to, and the thing is 2.65 megabytes. All right. Now, when we look at the quality change, it is. Uh, let's look at it. It is, this is the mono is full quality, as you can see, it's flawless quality, but it even has trouble rendering itself. Now, here is the one that is the after quality. You can see all the pixels, and it's not as great, but really for a 9 second introduction, I don't think it'll hurt. Now, this thing that I'm showing you is, let's go to properties, is I also compressed it. Now, this is when... When we go to this handbrake, you're you're gonna see these things called properties. Now the properties will tell you a recommended um co for compression. But you what you can do is you can the recommended quality for the compression to make the size of the clip reasonable. Now what I did is I compressed it in full to show you guys that even if I put the setting on highest, it is pretty small. It's seven point two gigabyte megabytes, and this one is. 2.65 megabytes. Now the problem is this is 9 second clips. So really uploading 7.2 7.6 megabytes and 2.6 megabytes isn't going to do much of a difference. If you're if you're trying to upload something that is 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, now this you're going to have to go with the lower quality over time. Or you can go with higher quality but have to be sitting there for 3 hours waiting for your thing to upload. Now, if you're a quality over quantity type of person, then compressing it at full is the best for you. If not, it isn't. I'm going to show you how compressed at full looks like. Now, that's how it looks like. It looks exactly like the other one. The quality is completely fine. It looks nice, and it's something people like to work with. Now, <clears throat> I'll show you guys how to use it. Handbrake. So right now you just start up Handbrake, you go on Source, Video File, and you choose any file. Um, we'll do the compressed, we'll do Combat Evolved 9. So you go to Open. Now once you open, you're, it's going to say blah blah blah, choose a default browse. Browse, and I'm going to write YouTube Video. And you can do Save, alright? Now it's going to be saved on your desktop as YouTube Video. Now what you're going to go is to Container MP4 File. Video Filters, don't touch that. Video, you're going to want to put it to MPEG4 even though doing it at H.264 doesn't do much of a difference. Um, same source obviously, consistent frame rate. Make sure you have it at consistent frame rate because if not, then you're going to get, this thing might render some of lag. Um, now leave the audio alone, make sure that you don't touch that. Don't touch anything else. Now, what I was telling you is see the consistent quality, you can raise it up. See, this is lossless. Now, what it recommends you to have it is at around, was it 25, I think it was? We'll just put it uh, at around there, at around half. Now, let's just render this to show you guys how it is. Now, this should be faster. As you can see, when if you put it as MPEG-4, this will be like 5 seconds. Put it at H, change it to H, what the hell? Oh crap. Change it to H dot something something, it'll screw it up. Alright. So here is YouTube video and we're gonna show you guys. As you can see, it is nice. It's better and it looks good. And let's look at the size of it. Now YouTube video properties. Now the size is one point five six megabytes. Now obviously use H dot two four if you want quality. Use MPEG-4 if you want quantity, if you want to do it fast. Because look, for example, if you want something rendered really fast, like you want to make a quick update video, use the MPEG-4 because, look, when you go to Crop Properties on Pr Compressed Test, it is 2.65 megabytes, and it looks like shit compared to YouTube video. Look, you can see all of that crap. If you go to YouTube video... It doesn't look as bad, and it is actually half as small. So we go to properties 1.65, and it looks amazing. 
anyways that was pretty much my tutorial um please do go check out my channel i did start a new elder scrolls thing a new elder scrolls let's play here's my channel oop yeah mr ladiesman 665 hey please do subscribe check it out i think i deserve the subs and the work i've been working really hard on this thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later and uh, where is that there you go goodbye